a whopping 277. You guys remember that old meme that was like, disregard females, acquire currency? I feel like this is like, disregard gas prices, acquire a Honda Grom. Where else can you get 100 miles per gallon and still like, skirt? Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, big hill, big hill. How did I end up in this predicament? Perfect. Alright, welcome back to Life of Birch. This is Birch, and uh, today we're just cruising on the Grom because it gets over 100 miles per gallon and everybody's crying about gas prices. Alright, so I gotta run some errands today. We're gonna get into some adventures. I got like an hour and a half before I gotta get to work. God, I wish if these mirrors weren't there, I would so try to go underneath that truck. So anyway, yeah, gotta run some errands. Got some uh, announcements for you guys. Gonna get into some fun. First things first, we're going right here and we're trying a new taco truck. Actually, what I just said is a lie. We're not trying it and it's not a taco truck. I mean, we are trying it, but I said that as if it was like my first time I'm coming here and it's not. I've been here before. I just haven't posted it on the channel. And it's not a taco truck. It's inside of this gas station, but it's authentic AF. All right, let's park over here. All right, I'm going to go run in, grab some tacos, and I'll check back to show you guys how good they are. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Look at how good that looks. Got the Al Pastor tacos as always. Got some sort of like cantaloupe drink or something like that. Super freaking good. Got the Grom chilling over there. I'm sure it's always funny seeing me walk in somewhere and I got this helmet and you probably think I'm like a badass biker or something. And then you see this like little toy out here. But let's see how good this is. I've had them before. Hopefully they live up to the hype of the last time I had them. I tried to do that all dramatic like and the freaking lime is dried up as crap, barely even gave any juice off. <laughs> okay, uh, let's stop trying to be cinematic. All right, we got both sauces on there. First bite. So it's pretty good. The only thing is that the pork is almost like a pulled pork. See how like soft and kind of like flaky that is? I prefer a more like, I don't know if solid is the right word, like more solid pork. This is kind of soft. But other than that, the flavor is really good. As always, I wish there was pineapple in there, but not everywhere can be as good as uh, Taqueria El Primo. The sauce is really good. That red sauce is pretty spicy and I like spice. So if you like spice, that'll be right up your alley. Jalapeno, grilled jalapeno, that'll be good. Overall, I'd say eight out of 10. All right, now I don't normally do this, but I'm gonna have to redact my eight out of 10. I'm gonna have to say that was actually like somewhere between a 7.3 and 7.5 out of 10. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but the longer that I ate, the more that, like, the mushy meat got to me. That's what she said! I don't know how to describe it. It's, it was like... I don't almost like overdone pulled pork or something like that like way too soft and even like the grilled jalapeno I went to eat that and it was like super super mushy like I understand that when it gets grilled it gets cooked but normally there's like at least a little bit of crunch to it but that was like super mushy the flavor wasn't bad but I need like texture when I eat food and that just felt like somebody had like pre-chewed it for me or something not one of my favorites and I know if you're a local, I'll probably get hate for that because every time I say that this place isn't that great, people are like, oh, I can't believe you would say that about El Cabritos. They're so good. And it is good, but if you think that that's the best, then you haven't had real tacos. I will say, though, I've come here and got one of their burritos before, and that was killer. So yeah, Taqueria El Cabrito inside of the Exxon off of Route 50 right before the Bay Bridge. Come check it out, but I would recommend the burrito, not the tacos. The only thing, though, is on Taco Tuesdays, they do $1.50 tacos and $1.50 pupusas, so that's definitely worth it. All right, now we're coming back over here because obviously you can tell that I need some caffeine in my life because I totally forgot to take a thumbnail picture at the gas pump or with the tacos. So I don't know what the heck I plan on using as a uh, thumbnail. So we're going to come over here and take a picture and dang it, somebody's at my gas pump. I was really hoping they wouldn't be so that like it would be the same pump with like my total still on there. But you know, this is a life of a YouTuber that people don't think of. All right, lots of hard work goes into this. And now I got to circle and wait for somebody to leave the pump in the sun so that I can take a picture. Mother hecker, dude. Who do we think is leaving first so I can slide up and take the spot? Huh? That guy. All right, cool. Now my thumbnail is going to be clickbait because people are going to be like, that's not the pump that you were at. You're just doing this for views. No. Holy crap, dude. He has spent $125 in gas. Now I understand why people are complaining about gas prices. <laughs> hey, but this kind of works out because the Grom is 125 cc's and that's 125 bucks. Not that anybody will even be able to like read that in the thumbnail, but anyway. Thumbnail achieved, I hope, I think. Yeah, I can make that work, perfect. So I said I had some errands to run today and some announcements to make and they kinda coincide. And by kinda coincide, I mean they definitely coincide. So what we're doing right now is we are headed to go get a uh, P.O. box set up. I didn't enunciate that properly, P.O. box. Sound like I said poo box. Dude, I wanna hit this ramp so bad. Would that be bad? Yeah, I can't do it. 
I really thought about it, but the last thing I need to do is just like wipe out trying to do that and then look like an idiot. Anyway, not a poo box, a P.O. box. I'm sure everyone knows what a P.O. box is, but if you've been living underneath a rock, a P.O. box is a, a post office box so that people can send you mail and you can receive mail not at your home address. And people do those to set them up for like businesses and stuff like that. And that is exactly what I'm doing. If you're not going to go, I'm going to go. So essentially, I have merch finally, finally coming. And I've made merch myself in the past, but I finally got like professionally made merch. And that's been one of my big like, uh, I don't know, hurdles, I guess, is like I wanna sell merch, but I don't have the time to sit there and make every single shirt and hoodie that I sell. So I finally found a uh, local place that made them for me. And I got, I think like 12 to 14 test shirts made and they came out looking freaking awesome. And uh, I'm gonna sell those. So I wanna make a PO box because I can't be mailing them from my house and just like giving my address out to a bunch of strangers and uh, I'll let you guys know on here and on Instagram when that merch is actually for sale but my Patreon members are going to get access before anybody else so they will already get first dibs on all of that and then whatever's left over I'll be posting but I gotta like actually make a website to sell it and everything like that. I've already started that process I just gotta finish it. So long story short that's the announcement. Merch is finally happening and I need to get a P.O. box so that you guys don't break into my house and steal my kidneys. Oh my god do you see all this salt on the road? I feel like I just, I don't know if it was in my head, but I feel like I slid around that turn a little bit because this salt is so freaking slippery. Like, look at how much of it there is. This is why I took the cheap little Grom out today instead of the uh, Rebel. I mean, aside from the fact that the Rebel's at the garage. But, like, this salt is no freaking joke, and I don't want to have to wash it off of my Rebel. But it's just wild because right now it's, like, I think 55 degrees or something like that, and this entire week is going to be over 60. But there's salt on the roads because two days ago we literally got an inch of snow. Freaking ridiculous. And I guess it also doesn't hurt that the Grom gets freaking like 100 to 130 miles per gallon, something ridiculous like that. And everybody's like crying about gas prices and I get it because they're super high, but at the same time, like what are you going to do about it, you know? I could cry about it or I could use that as a reason to ride my motorcycles more. Where else can you get 100 miles per gallon and still like, skirt? <laughs> oh, I love f***ing around with this thing, man. The guy in the car just turned around and looked at me. <laughs> the guy just gave me a thumbs up. That's hilarious. Everybody freaking loves this thing, man. I can get 100 plus miles per gallon. I think it's rated at like 130, but the way that I ride, I know there's no chance. So I can get 100 plus miles per gallon, do hooligan stuff. This person is not supposed to be going like this, but they can. If you want to go straight from a turn lane, then go for it. Anyway, as I was saying, get over 100 miles per gallon, have the time of my life, and make friends in the process because everybody wants to talk to me about the Grom. Everybody thinks it's the coolest thing ever. I get so many more people asking me about this or talking to me about this than any of my other bikes ever. All right, is there a cut through right here? Yeah. Everything's a cut through when you have a Grom. So we're headed over here. I'm actually not doing like a real legit P.O. box. I'm actually going to do one of the UPS store things. That way it doesn't show up as a P.O. box. It shows up as like an actual street address, which I think is cool. And plus, this is a lot closer to my house than the uh, than the post office is. So, first things first, we're going to go grab some Rise Up coffee. Because you guys know how much I love Rise Up. Go get the uh, address made up, and then I'll tell you guys what the address is in case you guys want to send me anything. I really wish that I didn't stop recording when I uh, pulled up here because I was just talking about how everybody loves the Grom and literally the second that I turned off my camera, some people started talking to me about the Grom. <laughs> the guys that were in the car where I did the stoppy at the light right up there and I was like, oh, that guy just like looked back at me, whatever. That entire group of guys came over and was like asking questions about the Grom. They're like, dude, we have little CRF 50s that we just like terrorize the neighborhood it with. Like that thing looks great. What is it? Where do we get one? <laughs> but in other news, I was not able to get that P.O. box set up because I forgot that he said that he needed two forms of ID and they had to be physical and they can't be a credit card. They wouldn't accept like a picture of my insurance card, a picture of my registration, nothing. It had to actually be here and they wouldn't let me email it to them and print it out. So I guess I'll just go screw myself. I'll have to come back another time but whenever I come back it'll be before this video is out. So here's the mailing address right here if you guys want to send me anything. Well since that didn't work out I guess I have a little little bit of time to kill before work so let's go see what we can get into cruising around the other downside to uh not getting the p.o box set up is that i was like you know what i'll have time to drink my coffee while i get the p.o box set up plot twist i couldn't do the p.o box so i had to freaking chug a large coffee like absolutely slam it within a couple of minutes that so i could get back on this thing and i don't think it's fully set in yet but i'm sure i'll start tweaking out here soon man every time i want to come down here and ride around the golf course there's like people right there don't y'all have somewhere to be or something 
something to do other than play golf so that I can, like, come cruise? I wonder if I could get a picture of my Grom in that little gazebo thing. That would be cool. Let's try it. <laughs> Somebody said, screw that chair. Alright. Yeah, I could ride up on that. I was about to, like, sit here and just, like, pick it up and put it up in there, but if I could ride it, that would be a lot easier. There we go. Now let's turn it around for picture time. Yeah, look at that. This is why I freaking love Groms, dude. What other bike can you do this with? God, I love this thing, man. And off we go. Got some dope pictures. Nobody was harmed. What in the hell is he... <laughs> I'm talking about how I can't go down there with my freaking Grom. What are they doing? I could use that as my excuse, though. Now that they just did that, I can be like, Oh, I didn't know that you weren't supposed to do that. You know? Let's see. How did they even get their cars down here? Were they just turning around right there? <laughs> I feel like I'm definitely going to get yelled at. I have never done this before, but I've always wanted to. I mean, it feels like a good excuse. Like, oh, I saw cars down there, so I thought I could. <laughs> this is great, dude. Let's get some. This is when having a semi-quiet exhaust comes in handy. Oh my gosh, this is bumpy, dude. Are you kidding me? I gotta get out of here, though. Ooh. What's down here? Am I allowed to do this? It looks like a path. <laughs> dude, this is such an easy way to just, like, get yelled at. <laughs> Wait, this is an actual, like, hole. What the heck? This is, like, the moment of truth. How the heck do I get out of here? I guess I have to go down this way. I'm not gonna mess anything up, but I feel like it's... It would be easy for somebody to think that I was, and I really don't want to get in trouble. Oh my gosh, dude, how did I end up in this predicament? Oh, I just slid out. My back end just slid. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. It is beautiful back here, though. I used to always ride my uh, bicycle back through here because I used to live in those apartments before they made them all nice and fancy. Maybe that's, like, my easiest way to escape is through there instead of going up to the road. How did I get in this predicament? I started the video off with, like, no energy and, like, not sure what was going on, and now I'm just hype AF cruising around a freaking golf course, dude. If I go up through here, I think I can get to the parking lot. <laughs> This is so ridiculous. Oh yeah, I would have to go through there. I should be able to do that, right? Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, big hill, big hill. Curb. Oh my god. <laughs> no chance. No freaking chance. <laughs> Dude, this thing is so much fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright guys, well I think that's going to do it for this video. I set out to get some stuff done. I got some of it done, like the tacos and coffee. But the actual important part, the P.O. box, I didn't get done yet. But on the bright side, you guys are watching this in the future. And you already know what the P.O. box address is, which again is right here if you guys want to send me anything. And like I said, merch will be ready... I guess it'll be ready for you guys within the month. Patreon will get it, uh, actually by the time this video's out, Patreon will already be able to be putting in orders for their merch, and then you guys will come behind that. If you want to become a Patreon member to get exclusive access and early access like that, check out patreon.com slash lifeofbirch to pledge your, lunch, pledge your lunch, pledge your monthly amount. Holy crap, you think that, like, how many times I say that, I would have it down by now, but I don't. Patreon.com slash lifeofbirch to pledge your monthly amount. Make sure to go ahead and give this video a like if you liked it, and even if you didn't like it give it a like because it helps me with the algorithm and of course make sure to leave a comment that helps with the algorithm as well subscribe if this is your first time here and i will catch you guys on the next one love you guys peace